Hi, this is Simon Kanish, and welcome to another Marvelous Videos. What happens when the Hulk retains the intelligence of Bruce Banner, but loses his emotions and humanity? Well, we get a monster that is the reverse of the Hulk, quite literally. Introducing Kla, the reverse of Hulk, in every possible way, apart from strength. Even his name is reversed. Described as Hulk's Hulk, Kla is one of the many alter egos of Bruce Banner. He is a ferocious and evil-minded monster, driven by the hatred he has harbored within himself. In contrast to Hulk, Kla has grayish black skin, glowing red scars, crimson eyes, claws, and a mohawk of white hair. Let us dive straight into Kler's origins to get a better idea about him. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click of you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Exploring the origins of Kla, born from Hulk's own rage. To understand the origins of Kla, we first have to brief you on the origins of Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Bruce Banner is an incredible scientist, but his childhood was an extremely troubled one. He had an abusive father who failed to control his emotions and frequently beat his wife to the point of no retreat. Eventually, Bruce's father was sent to the mental ward as he was deemed insane. But after he was released on the premise of him being cured, he pulled the same shenanigans after Bruce reluctantly offered him a place to stay. After that, Bruce had to end his father's life with his own hands. This is one of the more significant reasons why Bruce was a victim in his early life and had a traumatizing past. This mental unrest has affected Banner negatively, resulting in him having disassociative identity disorder. Due to his outstanding scientific accolades, Bruce was part of a team of scientists who were researching at the nuclear research facility, aiming to develop gamma bombs. On a fateful day during one of the tests, Banner was caught in an explosion due to a series of mishaps. Engulfed in the insane explosion and exposed to endless gamma radiation, Banner was supposed to die, but incredibly, he survived. Later that day, Banner would turn into the monstrous creature dubbed the Hulk. The Hulk is the embodiment of Banner's rage, and he is a distinct, separate entity altogether. Hulk is Bruce's primary alternate personality, and he is basically the physical manifestation of Bruce's trauma, which makes him become a childlike monster with moral but low intelligence. The Hulk is an explosive personality and he cares deeply for animals and children and has a soft spot for everyone who is fundamentally defenseless. Even though the Hulk is quite defensive of Bruce Banner, the two struggle with each other constantly over control of the body. Bruce and the Hulk often reach common ground in their argument and work together to do what is right. The Hulk is frequently seen as a gentle giant and although childish, he is often regretful of his outbursts due to his sense of morality. Just like the Hulk, there there are a plethora of other personalities that have been repressed inside Bruce and are not allowed to surface. Each alternate version represents a different aspect of Bruce's trauma, insecurities and mental struggles. All of these alternates are presented as separate entities and have distinct personalities as well. All of the dispositions are commonly rooted in Bruce Banner's mental struggles and his mind. Well, all but one, Kla, comes into existence from the depths of the Hulk's psyche and not Banner's. He he is one of the strongest and most deadly versions of the Hulk that we have ever seen. Kla is constantly suppressed by the Hulk, and he is created out of his own rage and burst of emotions, much like how Banner turns into the Hulk. However, during the Axis storyline, the Hulk was powerless to stop Kla from appearing, and the monster gained control. He transformed into Kla when the inverted Avengers, who he was considering to be friends, were united for a cause that was unlike them. They were not acting as the defenders of life, instead, they were playing the absolute judges of right and wrong. The Hulk attempted to talk some sense into them, but after his and Jarvis' failed attempts at doing so, Hulk's immense sadness made him cower into a corner soon turning him into Kla. Kla then showed off his might by easily decimating the Avengers without even breaking a sweat. Kla is a vicious, cruel, nasty, and disruptive character who just wants to wreak havoc and, quote, bathe in the blood of the innocents. The Axis storyline is only one major instance showing how dangerous and unpredictable Kla is. And it also shows how bloodthirsty, violent, and narcissistic he is. Even the inverted Avengers were mindful of him and the immediate threat he 
possesses. Irrespective of which side he supports, Clerk gets to be in control of Hulk's body when Hulk feels sadness. This is personified by Bruce Banner feeling the emotions caused by the death of his mother. As we said, Clerk is the Hulk's Hulk. He is the representation of death and nothing else makes one feel the same pain as someone's death. Clerk feeds off the Hulk's sadness and gains power. He likes to inflict pain and witness others writhe in agony. One of the worst traits that Clerk had showcased is that he is so uncontrollably vile that he attempts to eat Nova's arm, even though Nova is just a child. Signs of cannibalism, unfathomable powers, no morality, lack of humanity, and high intelligence are all recipes for disaster. And Clerk is disaster in the flesh. Clerk was never really defeated and was only dealt with when the combined magic of Doctor Doom, Scarlet Witch, and the efforts of White Skull and Steve Rogers was put in place to reverse the spell that had created all the madness in the first place. Clerk was wiped from existence and Banner returned to normal as himself and the Hulk. His memories of Clerk and the events that transpired were also wiped and all he remembered were the remnants of another rampage that he'd been on. Clerk was originally supposed to be a clone of the Hulk, created by the Titan Zemnu. Playing a significant role in the Hulk Volume 2, issue number 30, Clerk was introduced as one of the monsters harbored by Zemnu to fight against his nemesis. In the storyline, the impossible man approaches Red Hulk and warns him of Zemnu's plans. Zemnu, who had once been defeated by the original Hulk already, is now seeking revenge on him and the Earth. As the fight starts, Zemnu disregards Red Hulk as an actual threat. He soon fights the original Hulk as well, seeing his old nemesis. Zemnu is pleased and puts his plan into action. He had employed an army of monsters to fight the Hulk. Overpowered and outnumbered, the two Hulks struggle. Impossible Man then decides to merge the, the two Hulks together to give them an increase in power because he does not want to see the Earth destroyed. The composite Hulk proves to be formidable and Zemnu resorts to his final and secret weapon. He then reveals a Hulk-like creature who is able to communicate intelligently named Clur. This grey monster is able to gain the upper hand against the combination of the two Hulks. It was after the subsequent struggles that the two Hulks came to a definitive agreement and let go of their rivalry to work together and fight Clur that the monster was defeated. Soon after, Zemnu is defeated and sent back through his portal, while Impossible Man is forced to separate the two Hulks. The origin story of Clur was never explored again and was scrapped entirely for the new one that we saw in the Axis storylines. So who was going to fight between Titan and Clur? For anyone who is not aware, the current volume of the Hulk ongoing title has focused on a concept of the Hulk called the Starship Hulk. In this form, Bruce uses the extreme reaches of his scientific knowledge and psychic powers to control the Hulk's body by keeping his consciousness inside of him, allowing him to pilot the form. But in the story, Starship Hulk has accidentally landed on a planet which is full of inhabitants that are extremely powerful gamma mutants, much like him. It is speculated that in the finale of this particular arc, we will get to see the deadliest Hulk that has ever been. The deadliest Hulk is referred to as Titan, and he is said to come into being when the Hulk completely loses control. This outburst of Hulk's rage is like a constant volcano eruption, full of anger and power. In this form, the Hulk transforms into Titan, who is a towering 30 feet tall and has boulders for shoulders with spikes coming out of his body, emanating energy every moment of time. Neither of Titan and Clur have not been explored much by the creators and both lack feats of power, which would allow us to gauge their capabilities on a scale in comparison to one another. Although both forms of the Hulk are one and the same thing, Titan and Clur are established to be different personalities altogether. To compare the limited feats that we have at our disposal, Titan was able to easily decimate a plethora of extremely brutish gamma mutants and tear apart any and everything in his way, while Clur was able to easily plough his way through the inverted Avengers and take on the mightiest of Nova's blows with little to no damage. On paper, Clur's intelligence and personality make him gain an edge over Titan. Still, on the other hand, Titan is deemed as the most powerful reincarnation of the Hulk by the creators. For now, the speculative nature of the discussion is subjective and it ultimately lands on preference. But it seems as if Titan would get the upper hand
hand in a fight against Kler due to him being completely and utterly a burst of destructive power, whereas Kler also has intelligence and purpose. If we go from design aspects to whom seems more menacing, then Titan would take that medal any day. We fans have to basically simply wait and, and see what the writers have in store for us. We need to see more feats of power from both Kler and Titan. We need to know the extent of Kler's intelligence and the limits of Titan's berserkers. It is also possible that both Kler and Titan are the same forms, surfaced at different times and named differently by other people, given that the title of Titan was given to him by someone on another planet in an alternate universe. Each and every question that is discussed raises can only be answered when we get to see more of both Titan and Kler, and we cannot wait to be treated with more Hulk. How incredibly powerful is Kler? On the limited occasions that we've seen Kler in action, he has been nothing less than a menace for all inhabitants of the Earth. Kler is a destructive force of nature that surfaces when the Hulk loses control. If Bruce can lose control and turn into the Hulk threatening all life on Earth, it is easy to imagine what can happen when the Hulk loses control. This menacing grey monster with a mohawk is nothing to be scoffed at. In both his major appearances, Kler has faced multiple enemies at once and has shown it to be possible to take him down quickly. In his first appearance, Kler was able to hold his own against the amalgamation of Hulk and Red Hulk. He fought off two Hulks at the same time and was initially overpowering them. In his appearance in the Access storyline, Kler was able to overpower the inverted Avengers and absorb Nova's attacks with no sign of damage at all. If these feats do not term him to be unstoppable, then we don't know what will. He has all the abilities of the Hulk and more. He possesses super strength, which is possibly limitless. Much like Hulk, whose powers can endlessly be based on emotions, his stamina and durability also reach levels of insanity, and he is never shown to be tired and can absorb hits without showing any signs of slowing down. He is pretty much invulnerable to brute force, and efforts to damage him only make him stronger. The only difference between the Hulk and Kler's powers is that Kler retains his intelligence and is not a mindless brute. Although not proven to have a scientist level of intelligence, Kler can scheme his evil master plans and is relatively more eloquent in communication than the Hulk. Kler is also an unhinged monster who does not shy away from using the Hulk's powers to hurt others. We saw this when Kler was about to annihilate some children in the name of enjoyment. He even tries to chomp off Nova's arm while fighting him, disregarding the fact that he's a child. All in all, Kler is one of the most destructive faces of the Hulk due to his nature of not holding back at all and his derivation of enjoyment from the pain of others. Conclusion. In conclusion, Kler is one of the more unexplored versions of an evil Hulk. We can hope that the writers will make more use of the character, as he's quite an interesting take on the Hulk psyche. The fact that Kler is the embodiment of Hulk's emotions, same as how Hulk is the result of Banner's emotions, is an extremely great way of making use of the mental struggles that the character goes through. Kler's design aesthetic also makes a statement, and his presence in each panel where he is fighting is unparalleled. The glowing red scars that run all over his body make him seem like a dormant volcano waiting to erupt. Kler is a pretty solid character and we definitely want to see more of him from Marvel. And if you liked our content, well don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.